My name's Denise Lofts. I'm the principal of Ulladulla High School, which is on the south coast of, of New South Wales. And we are probably three and a half hours south of Sydney. Uh, it's a large school, large comprehensive school, 1,220 kids at the moment, um, 10 support classes right through to your very gifted students as well. It really is a, a, a snapshot of, of today, really. 5% Aboriginal students, so we've got 97 Aboriginal students at the moment. Land of the Murrumbarine people. So we've had a bit of a groundswell at, at school around mindfulness. We've um, had a lot of contact with our local Buddhist um, centre. Many of us have taken on some, to do some meditation, but at the same token we've also recognised that um, today's society and living and giving the tools to our students is we, we really have been searching for something and obviously because we're being informed by by the, the, the local Buddhist centre and also our own understanding of mindfulness in terms of even just the mainstream um, uh, qualities that are coming through, we, we thought this would be an opportunity for us to really inform us um, intellectually and, and academically about how you do how you would bring mindfulness into into a school and so we did some research and both kim and i which is my head teacher well-being had said we really should do that together we really should do that together and then kim um, you know took the initiative and applied for professional learning and um, into our team and that's how we all got here. And we put it out as an EOI, D does anyone want to come? And we got 11 staff members come. So it was really, so there was really a real interest across the school. So that's a really good question because I, like I sit, you know, I don't have a, a class, I, but my, I feel like my, my teachers are my class and um, I see them, if, if they have calmness and they have the tools, then that will only impact on, on the students. And so the impact on students, if I think about uh, well-being, about mental health, anxiety, organisation, even just down to simple focus on organising, you know, your study diary or your study space, you know, having that focus to be able to do that, which which mindfulness does do as in terms of a um, in terms of a, a skill or a in your toolbox, you know, we we need that. The, the workshops brought, uh, if me, looking at me personally and then looking at the group, personally it's brought some focus around what we actually need to do to put in place a program. So it's obviously the, the nuts and bolts, you know, the pieces that you do it, but it's also the overriding vision of what it's what it can look like. You know, you've got to visualise, you know, when you see examples, we've gone through programming, we've gone through um, the, the, the different tools and techniques. So so I can see how that might, that might and will work in a, in a big school. Teachers are very harsh on themselves. So I think they've gone, oh, you know, when you hear that this school's doing that or that school's doing that, They've all gone, oh no, we should be doing that. But I think what they're, they're taking away from this is, is just the very simple things we can introduce, which probably we have, as, as one venerable said, we're like small waves and small waves can make a big impact. And I think that's how we've got to, that's where it's going to make the difference. Okay, that's a good question. I like the fact that we've come together as a group. So we've had, you know, um, uh, that that's the unintended good outcome. But what, oh, I mean, I've just loved staying at the, the lodge and just the people that, that looked after, have been looking after us. Um, I love the, the different food that we've been served as well. That's been, you know, awesome. In terms of the course, really practical techniques that we can take away. Lots of resources that we can now reflect on. We've found, you know, from, from the app, Smiling Mind app, right through to, to you know, the high level Buddhist teachings that will inform um, our understanding. So it's been a real variety of, of you know, hands-on. Yes, some, some of my group thought that they would have the candles and, you know, but in, in many ways they've, they've that, that's almost led them into wanting to go and, and investigate further. And so we're all learning, you know, I like the word um, ubiquitous learners, you know, so that's the idea of, you know, of continuing to learn. To make any sort of impact, and I, I did talk about this idea of really deep, authentic um, improvement in what's actually happening, and I think bringing a group, you know, that's I, I would advise any any principal or school that you know you want to have a movement 
You know, it's like you need to have a movement which is not relying on one person, that it's actually a, a, a philosophical basis by which you, you move your school forward. And, and I'm, I'm very in, I'm personally interested in how leadership makes that happen. And so if I was going to encourage any of my colleague principals, I would say you really need, you know, you need that, that um, herd five to eight people to get something going. And um, so that's what my advice would be. So just don't be one or two if you need a, a, a team. And I think that that's, um, permeates, permeates through all good professional learning. Um, in terms of it actually, yeah, people giving up their weekend, I think, um, you know, if they're going to invest their weekend, they're, going, they, they're really got their heart in it. So that's, that's a tick, you know. So if you put it out, you get people in their passion and their interests to want to come to support it. Interestingly, when I put up a little Instagram post and said that I was here, a lot of people, you know, a lot of people just go, yeah, nice, like, you know, but I, I, got, I got reaction from it. I've always wanted to do that course. I missed out, I tried to get in, you know, so there is demand out there. And it's, it's just a symptom of our lives today, you know, and I think it's the beginning of something fantastic.